Hey, I'm the Cathlon Gamer. Welcome back to Tennis Manager 2022. This is episode number three. We're going to start this episode off with a little bit of a reset. Following last episode, first off, it was a little too easy. Uh, and second thing is there's a mod available that uses real names. Now, they have not finished with that mod, but you have to have it enabled when you start your career. It can update over time, but it must be enabled because it wasn't enabled, because it wasn't available when I recorded the first two episodes prior to release, I, I wasn't able to get that in at that time. Now that it is out there, even though it's not fully complete, I can at least begin our career with this and we'll eventually have all of the correct names, correct players as we go through this. And I think that's gonna be huge for the realism with the playthrough. But since things were a little too easy, it seemed in the early stages of this game we're going to go ahead and go for maximum difficulty which we were almost there last time there was a couple things that we could tweak to to make it just a little bit tougher on us because i, I don't want it to be easy i want a challenge so to make things more challenging we have dropped our manager experience to the lowest level on this reset making us a novice a one of nine in terms of experience even that I still have a decent amount of attributes to distribute as I choose, as I pick custom for our management style. And we have maxed out key training categories, but then also negotiation. And then where we're limited though is definitely on that management side. You can see there's a couple of ones, a six and a 10. So we're not so good at motivating our player or player management. So this time around, things are definitely developing in a different manner. We're just entering January, so we're just getting started. But our very first match, which was that 30 level tournament that we won last time, the, the first round was difficult. It took three sets and a tiebreaker, but we still won. So maybe that's an indication that they've already made some updates. I saw that there was an update before I loaded the game up today. So there, there have been some. Uh, but we picked up a serious injury, <laughs> which it makes sense with a player who has terrible natural fitness. She should be picking up injuries. It's a three to four week injury, so it's going to see her out for a little while. It's serious enough that she is going to be withdrawn from play. So during the injury, we've gotten, gotten a message here from Uni that says she's read Andre Ag Agassi's uh, biography and see them under a new light and it's re-energizing her so uh, presumably that would amount to some sort of morale boost which is nice uh, also Andre Agassi is that's my era of of tennis fandom uh, from the the good handful of years that I followed the sport fairly closely back when uh, TV coverage was a little different in sports and very limited ESPN was in its infancy at that time and there's another update for us. She's been paying attention to what she eats, going to bed earlier, and she's feeling way better. So better lifestyle choices. Okay, interesting updates. I don't know if they're actually impacting anything, but cool addition to the game either way. So in those first two episodes, we had four tournaments back to back. We won the first three, and then we lost the opening match of the fourth one, and which I was elated by because you know things were too easy this time our very first match we saw injury after winning that has seen us out missing three weeks now the injury still there still persisting not fully recovered but recovered enough to participate so this is that fourth tournament which we had been knocked out in the first round the last time but of course we are now three wins shy of where we had been uh, that time around and we have essentially picked ourselves back up now with the timeline on where we were just having suffered already our first serious injury instead of triple wins things not going the same way they did the last time and i'm happy i'm happy for that we have work to do this time it results in a win 60 percent of the points won 61 uh 6164 on four stairs equal winners only slightly better a little surprising based on the stats that we actually were that much better off than the opposition in this one. Second round ultimately should have been a loss. A, we're still 
suffering from a minor injury. B, we are not fit as a result of the time we missed. And C, the opponent was the third ranked player in this tournament. And yet again, we've won 60% of the points and won pretty comfortably 6-1, 6-2. So I think we're kind of falling right back into the boat uh, where we were last time on four stairs, much in our favor. Quarterfinal against somebody similarly ranked. The injury is now considered minor in between the two days of these matches. 49% of points won, but we've somehow survived after losing the first set in a tiebreaker, winning the final set in a tiebreaker, but doing just enough to squeeze on by. Winners, minus 10. Unforced errors, minus 6. Aces, definitely not the advantage there. Total points, not the advantage there. In fact, we have the we don't have the advantage essentially anywhere. Quite surprising, based on that, that uh, we have come away with a victory. But it is showing that it nothing's automatic at this point. I mean, this is somebody who's ranked like 500th and barely got our way through it. But of course, we're still not fit, and we still have a minor injury. So. Maybe it is too easy still. Well, we'll see if this update has addressed it at all. I would love to see that balancing a little better off. We really shouldn't be winning this many matches. So in the semifinals, the one seed has knocked off the four seed. It's the two seed who we play here. It's the three seed who we beat earlier. So we'll have to go through all of the top seeds potentially if we are to win this tournament. We have now recovered from our injury, but our fitness is still low our game match sharpness that is is still pretty poor and it's not a tournament victory i was going to do the final live if we had gotten to it it's only a 30 level junior tournament so it's very very minor we have seen a few live matches already so uh, you know it's not a big deal for me if we get knocked off in the semifinal of a 30 level junior tournament that being said we have been knocked off and for me that's encouraging that they probably have addressed the balancing a bit. We lose 2 6, 7 6, 2 6, just 45% of the points won. This looking more likely the type of result we should be seeing at this stage. Anybody top, top 250 in the juniors is definitely better than what I have right now, and we shouldn't be beating them. So that's good. I think they've addressed the balancing, and I look forward to more losses. And they're developing uni so that she can win on merit and not just because the the game is unbalanced so we're a good month further on than when we did the first two episodes so we have made some progression and here's what we're seeing so far serve power and accuracy are both at a four forehand power is still very weak forehand accuracy and the backhand accuracy along with the return are pretty nice though return on the verge of hitting a 10 it'll be our first technical attribute to reach that level the physicals is what i've focused early on here uh, we're at a 10 for speed and on the verge of 11 footwork and balance are both approaching a 10 agility has already climbed to an 11 uh, reflexes at an 8 natural fitness at a 9 and stamina oof, not so good at a 3 has some room for improvement focus anticipation positioning uh, tactical skills all similar to where they started now here's the thing uh, two noticeable things one we had that injury and did not train for three weeks so we missed three weeks worth of development which means i should be about where we were the last time but what i've noticed this time around is we are not developing as rapidly as we were the first time so I do think that that has been addressed because it did seem to be a little too rapid, it seemed to be happening a little too quick. So I'm actually quite pleased that we've done this little bit of a reset here to, to get the modded database with all the real life players uh, introduced. And it looks like they have updated that because from what I've seen, at least the top end players are all the real life ones. So that's, that's good. They've made that progress. But yeah, I, I'm, I'm glad to see that we're not developing quite so rapidly and that we're not just going out and crushing everybody. We actually need to develop Uni into a top player over time. Now, we also just uh, 
got a big payday that leaves us now at 194,000, which means we can make our second upgrade. Our first upgrade is still a week and a half away from completion. So choosing what to do next is still important. Uh, we could wait on the press conference one, but it comes with a, a bit of cost. Looks like we're all, we already have one level, so that would increase the level. So we would be 8,000 and then 54,000. So it would be 46,000 more than what we have right now. So 46,000 at the cost of 325. It's certainly not a bad upgrade, but I think the main one that we wanted was the cold therapy room, uh, which is going to increase 32,000 plus give us cryotherapy. Uh, treatment which is obviously good for a number of reasons so let's go ahead and get this one on the go it's going to take two months to complete so for what is pretty much our second tournament now uh, we are in a junior 60 level in Guatemala and not the easiest draw first round is certainly a winnable one but that second round we will likely have to face the number one seed which if things are playing out the way we now see them that could be our stopping point but again that's something i'm totally okay with high serve intensity let's go ahead and go with that and we do come out comfortably on top in the first round 6-0 6-1 losing just one game in the two sets played 75 percent of the points won just 68 points played total only give it up 17 of those total winners was just eight for rugara we had 29 and only a few unforced errors. That's the most dominant win I think I've ever seen in this game. Now, Russell herself, even though she's ranked 204 in the junior rankings, doesn't have a good record. This isn't exactly a, a top opponent. And from what we've seen, she's only played one tournament where she got knocked out in the second round. Oh, no, sorry, round of 32? Yes, I think that would be the second round. J2, as in... 200 level i think that was the tournament i was supposed to be in ended up withdrawing from but it's only the second round so i, I will quick sim this and, and see how that goes uh, we have trained up our game plan deviation play as our primary and we come out on top seven five six three now of course we've seen progress but barely winning against somebody who isn't a strong opponent is a, a little more something that i could take and what we see here are total winners we were, were behind on. It was just we had fewer unforced errors. So it looks like Rassel had every uh, possibility of winning against us, was the better player, but just didn't take care of the ball very well. The quarterfinals were comfortable, but the semifinals were not, and we're out. So we're not winning tournaments, but we are playing competitively. We are beating people. I. I think it is quite clear, and I'm going to stop talking about this and move on, but I do think it is quite clear that there has been an update that it has addressed the balancing and things are looking much better at this stage. We've been developing more slowly this time, but here's the thing. Progress wasn't neutral this time. This time, Uni came in as an early bloomer, so she actually should be developing even faster so again, another sign that they have addressed things. But one good thing we're picking up on is we are already one and a half stars. Our potential has already been bumped from anywhere from two stars to three and a half. So we are making some pretty rapid progress regardless of the fact that it is a little slower than last time. Our next tournament, 60 level, we open against the three seed. And while it was close, we do come away with a win. Winners were similar. Total points won slightly in our advantage. Unforced errors, not a clean match, but definitely better than the opponent was. Much easier second round, 6-0, 6-1. This opponent was ranked quite a bit lower, and you can see we had a lot more winners. The potential of our player is already starting to show up with some pretty rapid progress that is turning into... The players that were ranked similar to us early on are now, you know, we're, we're a pretty good margin above them already in just two months worth of training. First set. And we skip forward to the final. We are in it. It's only the seven seed, so we 
I don't exactly have the most difficult opponent. We've already climbed inside the top 400 through a couple decent performances in tournaments, though not wins. And that only puts us about 100 spots behind uh, this player. So, you know, we're not that far off. And I think competitively, this should be fairly balanced. Now, we had a nice, quick, easy path. It didn't take much. Oh, that dropped on our side. Uh, second set. It didn't take. Uh, lost my train of thought. <laughs> it didn't take us much to get here. We we won those last couple of matches pretty comfortably, and therefore we were able to save a bit of energy. And we come into this final quite fresh, even though I don't have much for uh, stamina. And we've gone from down uh, 1530. We now lead. We have advantage. Chance to uh, break here in the opening game. Now we are using the deviation play where we are trying to go back and forth, side to side uh, with our balls. Uh, ooh, oh, and there's one. Nice winner on that one. Excellent ball. Right on the edge. Right on the line. Attacking the net. Not our normal thing. That one not bouncing over the net after hitting. It stayed on that side. And ooh, that was out. Tough from here, you know, looking through the net, but it certainly looked like it had hit the line. Nice. Nice easy ball. Second set. There's no way she was getting to that one after we attack the net. Working her side to side well here. Forty fifteen. Leading to quite a few winners. So tactically. This is uh, going well so far. Later on, when we get a little more powerful, we'll probably... Nice! Two games Ooh. Uh, we'll probably think about adding in the aggressive Love. baseline, which is what we started with last time as our tactic. Uh, oh, adding that in seconds. as we get a little more power. But right now, the three that I have, uh, we, we have this deviation play that's sideline it's sideline to sideline playing the playing the edges and really working your opponent side to side uh, which that's my preferred ta tactic on that one uh, we do also have a more offensive baseline one so not quite the aggressive one but the offensive version uh, very similar in nature and then our third as we have a chance to break again but we put that one into the net and it's now deuce the third one is our counterattacking one to to kind of help deal with some of the better opponents. Uh, the way the counterattacking one is, uh, you kind of wait for a weaker shot. So you play defensive, wait for a weaker shot, and then try to exploit the weaker shot by, you know, they they give you one sideline, you're gonna you're gonna hit that sideline hard. Uh, if they give you, if they start attacking the net, you're gonna try to hit it beyond them. You know. Uh, on the side that they're not that that sort of thing play the baseline uh, anyway it is three games to love right now so we are already halfway to winning the first set and leading 30 15 and that one was easily playable but i think we thought it was going 30, to go out uh, get caught flat-footed at the moment Juice. nice come back there after drawing her back Light. into the middle Ooh. Deuce got there. That's wide. Advantage. She has to make it four games. And the ace to win the game. Nice. All right, let's go ahead and speed things up and finish out this first set. Looks like she's on the verge of actually winning one as it was 40 love. And then we almost battled back into that game. We nearly got to deuce. Uh, but she also broke us there in the sixth game where we had a chance to go up 5-1 uh, but it looks like we are on the verge of breaking her and we do and we're now one game away from taking the first set yeah. now set point i like the slow down options now that you have various options in, in the menu so for those who have not picked the game up themselves yet uh, you you could choose a number of different situational outcomes uh, when it comes to the speed, the camera view that you have in the game, you can stop at certain key points. You can stop at every game 
point you could stop at every you know you could slow it back down at, at any number of selectable moments then you could also choose what is your camera view at this speed this speed and this speed i love that feature by the way because uh, I, I was doing a lot of extra clicks last year this year it's all just set up in the options it does what i want it to do i like it all right first set in the bag let's see if we can make our first tournament a victory or first tournament victory of the year or this time around whatever and see here is my triple speed one as we take the first two games three games four games five games 30 love 40 love yeah. match point <laughs> And there it is. Got it. Nice little celebration dance move there too. <laughs> six two six zero, and we are a tournament victor for the first time, or fourth time, depending on how you want to look at that one. First time this time around. So it looks like this year the weekly team reports have been pushed back to Monday. I do believe that they came on Sunday in last year's version, which means you didn't get the ranking update because the ranking updates on Monday at midnight. So anyway, we have pushed up to 309th in the rankings now following that victory. Everything else is looking really good. And the development side, almost tens across the board other than stamina. Uh, the mental stuff is almost tens across the board. And we did reach 10 in that backhand accuracy. So that's the first one to, to hit that point. And you can already see on that spider web, we're starting to push out in a couple of areas, the movement and intelligence, uh, mental still locked in where it was, but you know, we're doing well. I'm, I'm really happy with the progress. I'm also really happy that we didn't just come out of the box and win every match. So things are going really well this time around. I am super happy super happy all right so i told you before that it takes three episodes to really set the algorithm in motion on whether to boost a series or not that's the way youtube works and with a small channel youtube does not boost my channel in any way shape or form now the first episode was incredibly popular for the standards that that i get on my channel so it's done super well and many, many of you did click that like button to give it a boost. There's plenty of comments on it. So that first episode is actually getting a little bit of an algorithm boost. And, and that's only maybe the second video I've had in a year that is solidly getting a boost to it, to the algorithm or from the algorithm. Uh, episode two still needs some more likes uh, to, to get that one going, but fantastic job with that first one and that will help get this series out there get new viewers into the channel that will of course then help translate this tennis manager series into another long one we did about 80 episodes in last year's edition and i would very much like to do uh, the same here maybe even more than 100 episodes this time around we'll see how things go if things progress a little too quickly it might not go that far but also if the 3D animation is all it's cracked up to be. We'll be doing the tournaments a bit more often because, well, A, I've, I'm more comfortable with the tactics side of it now and, and feel comfortable getting out there and actually coaching my athlete. And, and B, uh, it's, it's a lot more fun to watch. So I think that'll help slow things down a little bit and make sure that we aren't suddenly number one in the world after just 40 episodes or something. But one last time, do please drop below, click that like button, leave that algorithm comment. From here on out, though, uh, we settle into, hey, if you're here from episode four on, you're here because you want to see more of Tennis Manager and you want to see where this series gets off to. But yeah, leave that like, leave that comment, and I'll see you next time. I'm Decathlon Gamer. Like, comment, subscribe. Have a good one. Be safe out there. Bye for now.